What would you well, say to that? Well, what I would say to it is, is this. The, anybody who was involved in, with Amy in the last three years of her life and not in the film... Mm. I mean, do you all know about Reg Travers, mm. yeah, her so boyfriend Reg? Yeah, yeah. He did six, seven hours of interviews, not in the film. I did dozens of hours of interviews. You hear my voice three times. And what I say is misrepresented. I say that Amy didn't need to go to rehab, right? Yeah. What I actually said was, referring to 2005, mm -hmm. an incident, Amy didn't need to go to rehab at that point. Later on was a different mm. story altogether, right, which I, gives a totally and completely different no, meaning to what no, I said. As I, I have seen the film, so let me just say this. There's not a narrator, is there? No. It's, it's kind of everybody's sort of viewpoint um, that were around Amy. Now, no, I no, actually... No, because there no, isn't anybody in there that was around Amy. That's no, the point. No, but what, what you do as a, a viewer is that you make up your own mind. Nobody's yep. sort of saying to you... And there's not a narrator sort of pushing you in a certain no, no, director, direction. So <clears throat> what, I, what, I came, what I came away from me is that actually you and Amy were very close. She Brilliant. adored you. Yeah. You adored her. Absolutely, and I think as parents, with hindsight, there are all things that we could say we would have done differently with our children, etc. The only point I really lost sympathy for you was when she went to St Lucia... Glad you brought that up. ..and she had gone there to escape yeah. the madness... Yeah. ..and you turned up with a camera crew. A reality TV crew. A reality TV okay. crew. And as I felt looking yeah. at it, you invaded her privacy again when she had gone there to get away from that kind of thing. Well, the thing is, I was in St Lucia every two weeks because I would go and see Amy. she wanted want me to be there every two weeks. I mate, that was not a reality V crew. I mate, I don't know if some of you might have seen it. Do you ever see the, the Channel 4 documentary I made about the struggles of families were facing with addiction? You did? That is what they're talking about. That is what they're saying is a re reality TV crew. They knew that I took a TV crew... But whatever it's for, it's a no, TV no, crew. I, it's a TV but crew. it's not a reality TV no, well, crew. That, that, but I that's sort of not there. the point, now, is hang, it? Let me finish what I'm saying. I went out there and I took a serious fi film crew. Mm -hmm. It was a serious documentary about addiction within the family. Because of that film, we've managed to help hundreds of families and we went there with Amy's permission, I can assure yeah, you. But it's of still... course, when you see that film... When I see that, you're... I think if it was my daughter, and again, yeah. I'm, you know, hindsight productions, but yeah. if it was my daughter, I wouldn't put her in the position of asking her whether or not I could bring well, a film crew you, because I would look be at right. it and say yeah. she shouldn't nobody should be there filming her at that point because well, she you might looked, be right but she that... looked natural and happy and yeah. great and relaxed and which why do you think she was film... happy natural and relaxed because she had a family and her friends around her yeah. that's why not a tv crew Mitch but... can we obviously we're we're all parents here and and you know, as, as we said at, at the start at the end of the day you're a dad who lost a daughter yeah. um is, is there anything we as parents, we all do our very best for our children. Mm. You under particularly different, difficult circumstances. Do you think that there are some things that maybe with hindsight, as Jane mentioned, you'd look back and think, do you know, maybe I got that bit wrong? No. OK. You know, the thing is, the one thing that these people don't understand is the nature of addiction. Does anybody in this room have a family member who is struggling with addiction? Anybody? OK. Mm. Thank, thank your lucky stars. Because mm. if you do, you will understand how difficult it is. Oh, 100%. We made yeah. everything available yeah. for Amy. Treatment, yeah. psychoanalysis... But I think that comes across in the film. I totally disagree, if I may yeah. say. Mm -hmm. uh, treatment, in and out of treatment, left, right and centre, I can't tell you. The, yeah. the, the, the hours that we spent trying to... Family interventions. This nonsense about Amy being left on her own for the last three years of her life is, is incredibly insulting yeah. and it's insulting to families who are struggling with addiction up and down the country she had a lovely boyfriend mm. she had wonderful friends she had her pas they're not in the film they so don't have do a voice you want people to see the film yeah do you, like... do you not want people to see it okay you've got to go and see the film because the first 45 minutes you see film of amy well, which mm. is incredibly beautiful yeah. okay mm. it's absolutely incredible and i've got to say thanks to, to the guy because if it wasn't for them no, nobody would be seeing those, those movies mm -hmm. yeah. but there are other movies that people have got that wouldn't give them to these people. Yeah. Now, I'm telling you now, we're making an alternative film. Is this you and Reg, yeah? Re Reg and I are yeah. going to be making an alternative film mm. and we're going to invite everybody who's spoken on the other film and we're not going to edit it in the way that they've edited me mm. and we're going to tell the truth about Amy's life because this is not... You know, my grandson, who's nine months old, is going to look at this and he's a lovely boy and he's going to say, Grandad, what were you doing? 
what, what exactly were you doing? If, the, if you saw this film, if I went to see this film and I didn't know what was mm. happening, I'd, I'd also have a dim view of me. Right. Mm. That's my point. Yeah. But, Mitch, the important thing as well is that people have a wonderful view of Amy and, and because of that as well, the work of your foundation will yeah. carry on, which, of course, is so important. Mitch, Which is not mentioned in the film. Thank you for coming to talk to us today. Thank Mitch you. Mitch Weinhardt. As parents, the, the pain must just never go away. You've lost your daughter, and we're all still very, very well, sorry. Well, can I say, in one of the early... Uh, what you do early on, it says, I'm here to defend mm. whatever. I'm not here to defend, I'm here to expose the film.